Let's make this project left-handed. Wondering how to make a magic circle? Let's do it. Ciao friends, Beth of Thimblehooks, and today is Magic Circle Day. For those of you who don't know how to make a magic circle, my daughter informed me that I did not have a magic circle on my tutorials because she wanted to learn how to make one and I wasn't home and she had to try to figure it out somewhere else. It's like, well, I've got to fix that. Magic circle time. So I'm going to use I'm going to use a 10 millimeter hook and super bulky yarn or maybe this is just a bulky. This might be, no, oh, this is a six. And some super bulky yarn that I have left over from Lily's pom-pom bear ears hat that I made her at the holidays. Because I have a little bit of it left, so I thought it would be a good idea show a tutorial with the big hook and the fat yarn so it's a little bit easier to see. So first of all, take your tail, your beginning tail, and just lay it over your fingers right here and wrap. So we're like this, an X on the palm side of your fingers and not an X on this side. Turn your hook upside down, go under the front one, and pull, and then twist. And grab that side, and pull through. And that's all there is to it. All right, so let's try that again. Again, this is really easy. I'm going to set my hook down. But this, again, this was a 10 millimeter hook. And this is a six bulky weight yarn. So we start like this over the, just these two fingers. Hold it in place right here. Wrap around those two. So you're going to have an X towards the palm side. And just two right here. So we're going to take our hook upside down, go under the first loop, grab the second loop, turn, and then grab and pull. Super fast. We're going to do it again a little tricky to make sure I got this on the camera properly. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But there's my X. X back here. Not an X on top. Go under the first loop. Grab the back loop. Turn. And then grab the working yarn and pull through. Here you go. That's all you really need to do. Now see, it will be magical. Then you can start working into the loop. And do single crochets. And then you can pull it tight. That's the magic of the magic circle. So we'll try it one more time. X at the palm. Not X here. Under, pull, twist, grab, and pull through. And I just like to pull that tail out. Let's get some single crochets going on here. Work right into that ring. I'll do one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll slip stitch into our first, very first stitch we made, a very first single crochet. And now to close that gap, pull it tight. And that's all you need. It's so easy, so amazingly simple. Normally I don't 
need to do magic circles with bulky yarn, but I wanted to show you so you could actually see some of these stitches right here. I'm going to do an increase all the way around, just two double crochets in each stitch. Just like working in the round with any other starting point, now you have a magic circle. To the end, we will just slip stitch into our top stitch. And pull the center tight. On the back side, we just pull our original tail and it makes it nice and tight. Just like this one was, nice and tight. Quick sneak peek at how to do a magic circle or a magic ring could be very handy when it becomes hat season because there's a lot of bulky hat patterns out there. I make some of them myself. Um, every day is hat day for my youngest daughter anyway so I use a lot of I use a lot of magic circles and hats but I don't make as many of them with the super bulky she just likes fluffier hats so hopefully magic ring will help you make a few hats or some other projects thanks for stopping by have a great day thank you for supporting my small business please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications so you know what's coming up next and I'll see you real soon Thanks. Bye.